after spending week in travels and being really exhausted uh, after flights and bus rides and all the problems uh, associated with it, we decided to go again to our retreat Il Fourchou. Um, again, this is only two hours of sailing uh, east of uh, San Martin, very close to San Bart, it's a French territory, and usually nobody there, just us. Good diving, a little bit of hiking if you want to do, a little bit of climbing, and a little bit of history. This island is coming back to life. It used to be goats here. And when I came here first time about 10 years ago, it was bare rock, nothing, no vegetation. Um, the goats has been removed just before I came first time, so about maybe 11 or 12 years ago. And the island is slowly getting back to life. There's more cactuses and another vegetation. It's getting higher and better and more, especially in last, after actually Irma, like last four years I can see it. But what I want to see it here, this is a cistern. Oh, whatever, it's left out of it. But imagine this, somebody had to bring the bricks. I would say the bricks wasn't made locally, they had to be brought by ship. And therefore that oval shape uh, was made out of bricks. Uh, it's about three meters high. And uh, well, they lose use the local building materials like this stones. This is about four feet, close to four feet wide. So very solid structure. There, there was probably either a roof like this, as I've seen on Moss, or maybe some other uh, roof. Um, but it's mostly gone. But look uh, how much effort there was. There is, there is uh, maybe two layers of plaster being applied uh, to seal it, to preserve the water within. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna walk on it. I'll try. Shit, if I break my legs. I don't wanna break my legs. Okay, one brick high. Okay, yeah, I'm going on the hardy side, it's not that bad. Hmm. Ooh. Of course, it's been all collapsed and uh, it's not working, but it was probably collecting the water there somewhere and during the rain and it was like piped in here. I have no clue how it exactly worked, but that's what it, what's, what's the only thing left. Before Irma, over there, there was a little house, but Irma took care of it, and it's just the rubble right now. Before all the COVID uh, restrictions, I used to bring friends and clients here. Uh, now, which has become my retreat, and despite uh, of being there many times, I really enjoyed that little island, and as you can see, like crystal clear water, and few inhabitants, occasionally long-tailed birds, national bird of Bermuda, coming here and squeaking up and bringing the island to life. And the geckos, uh, actually, I learned from geckos that uh, you can remove those little fruits, maybe not in this case, and eat them. Uh, I've seen one gecko scratching a little fruit out. This was a little bit too deep, but I managed. This looks like uh, like it's really old. Uh, and uh, we got like seven babies uh, on the top. Plus I'm kind of imagining that if those branches, like the ones are broken off, they, they're trying to establish themselves here. That's why there's so many of them. And, uh, Look at this. It's hard to step anywhere because there's cactuses all over the place and it's very easy. Well, oh, one other wheel. Ooh. For me, it tastes a little bit like uh, dragon fruit. And you can just 
find a couple of those berries. And I, I convinced uh, Shannon to try one. You gonna eat it? And she was a little bit concerned about the taste. She didn't know if it's sweet or sour, but she tried and it was okay. Nothing spectacular for her, but especially that you just really got like it's not sweet, definitely. A tiny, but, uh, tiny bit of it. Uh, maybe for Giko it's a lot, but for a human being, it's I would nothing. Say more for me, and, like uh, dragon for Shannon, fruit. it tasted like uh, applesauce. For me, more like dragon fruit. And I had to record that voiceover because the wind was just giving us a hard time and uh, whistling into microphone, making it really hard to understand uh, what's going on. You made but, it. Yeah, we on the top uh, of Il Fourche and finally I could get my cold beer, which I always enjoy on the top with a spectacular 360 degrees view. Um, we got some Look kick on your dick on. Oh, he is there. There on the other side. So you have to have your eyes open for little things. Good up. afternoon, Miss Williams. What are you doing here? I'm regretting telling you that the hatch leaks. Oh, really? Yes. This has turned into an all-day project. Well, uh, welcome in my club. Yes, I know. I don't know if you heard that a man got two dreams. One is to buy the boat. And second one is to sell it. I'm not dreaming about the second dream yet, <laughs> but definitely yes. the amount of uh, little things to do. Yeah, so this is much, much more work than I thought. I thought we would just undo some screws and take out some caulk and replace it. Uh, but no, this has to be scraped out by hand. Um, the screws were harder to take out than I thought they would be. And who did it? You did. <laughs> okay. You it's did, senor. supposed to be your project, but it became my project. You're so strong. You know, so uh, if that would be up to me, it could wait another, wait another two years. Yes, well, as I mentioned how strong and how handsome you are. Oh, <laughs> now you're greasing me, eh? Yes. <laughs> now it is. <laughs> you can smile, shine on. Beautiful here. And this is the Agnes Shrek. And somebody has to do the job. What? You filming me or are you filming the Yes to both. The scenery? Yes to both. I'm just so happy that there's not rain right now. Okay, so back to business. Okay, we had a leaking hatch. Uh, for a really long time. Not a lot of leak, a little bit, but it was annoying and the mattress would get wet. I made several attempts to, to seal it and all of them fail and at the end we find that right from the shipyard, Robert Sorn and Kane in South Africa, they simply didn't put the caulking on the part of the seal. So anyway, we had to remove it. We remo Shannon removed all the caulking. I cleaned it with the acetone, everything. Now I have to maybe just a little bit rough it on the very edge and I'm gonna reset it. So, would you say you're happy with the way this boat is built? Uh, not, but as far as I see, and I have uh, some friends on there, like brand new boats as the captains, and they say that terrible stories about the quality of uh, the building and uh, and some of the boats are like a couple million dollars it's not like a little catamaran like mine so did you have to spend a lot of time getting this boat the way you liked it the way that I, it was satisfactory no, to there's, you there's no way like well I'm getting satisfied but this boat was purely designed for charter purposes. Charters killing the boat within three years. I mean, after like three bear, years. What do you call it? Bear boat? Bear boat charter, bear boat yeah. Charters, yeah. 
Uh, crew charter is a little bit better. The, the boat after bare, crew charter is a little bit better, but bare boat charters, it's like rental cars. You know? People use it and abuse it. And on the boat it's really easy, starting with toilets, for example. It's a never ending story of repairing toilets, just because nobody really knows how to use it. See toilet, that's all. Watch. So, when you, you were talking about the bare boat charters, for people that want to buy a boat, you know, there are these agents who will say, oh well, you should use it as bare boat for a few years to pay it off, and then basically you have your boat for free. So, would you ever recommend doing that? Well, this is a complicated question. I tell you what, it's a complicated issue because who can afford the boat, which is like this one, three quarters of the million dollar when you, so when you have a work. So maybe you can go for two weeks in a year. Maybe first year will go for a month of vacation. You won't buy a boat for a month of vacation. That's too expensive. Then you have to pay for maintenance. You have to keep it somewhere. Marina is like, for a boat like this is, Fifteen hundred dollars. That's a deal. A month, per month. A week, a month. Yeah, just to keep it. Plus electricity. So, well, you're kind of tending to give it to the charge. The charge will wreck it. Absolutely wreck it. Uh, you know, the guys who are selling the boat, they have to sell it somehow. I can see it's coming. They have to sell it somehow, but. And they have to encourage you, hey, this is good business. Yeah, this maybe, maybe not you the boat owner. So would you if you had the choice, like if you were buying a brand new boat, would you give it to charter or would you not? If you don't have time to use it like full or half a year, don't buy the boat. Go and rent it. Even if it's thirty thousand dollars a week. Rent it and forget about it. There's very few charter companies which are really honest and they, they do good job. Normally, there's very few charters. The charter come and they wanna push the boat out. They don't care as long as it's nice and clean. Then the charters got a problem with toilet because they don't know how to use it. They got a problem with this or with that. And then week after or two weeks, they bringing up the boat. They say this, 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 okay, okay, okay. They close the boat and they forget about it for like another month before next charter. You have to fix whatever you remember that was supposed to help you on. As long as the cooking come everywhere, the biggest disadvantage is when you Live on a boat um, is a wind noise. It's constant, and when you're recording anything, it's always that whistling in your microphone. Uh, that's why we go and go diving sometimes. At least it's quiet there, quiet and beautiful, uh, with all the fish running around. And that's again ill for shoe um, diving spot. It's one of the richest in fish, maybe in few big fish, however, there is quite a few, uh, but lots of small fish uh, on constant move, doing their all daily chores, just like us uh, in the cities. Oh, there's some, occasionally some turtle, gently moving through three-dimensional space. I like to follow them uh, because they go from place to place or like hole to hole showing up either langostas or different species of fish hiding and I don't know if they just trying to find a hiding spot or they just like oh let's go there is a diver I'll show him around and show him a couple interesting spaces like like this green moray. Um, I could never figure it out. I know if you scare them out, they can disappear within two seconds and they're gone forever. You won't see them. 
Uh, other than that, I will just go slowly and gently and graciously and show you around. Like those trunk fish, spotted trunk fish. Really nice to see. They, they fun to watch. And I never seen one like them of them like the other one. They always look different. So this is this is Sean. And she's just showing me that there is langusta right inside that big bay sponge. a uh, couple of experiments we wanted to do first one is the colors um, this is color saturation and this is not this is this is how I sit on the water and I just can't make my opinion if I really wanted to have it saturated with the colors artificially uh, or I want to have it the way I see it underwater, without post-production. Uh, this little turtle, I don't know, I think he looks in natural colors better. This is another thing, another experiment. Uh, we're trying to figure out which sponges are filtrating water faster. And this, uh, this is huge one, but Look at this one. Even the same species is filtrating water a little bit differently. Uh, like the top one is going really fast, but the one on the right side, right beside, yeah, where the channel is pointing, it's way slower. Hmm. And this one is definitely slower, but they all working the same. Cleaning the water from particle and and getting the food they need uh, in order to grow and survive. So, just uh, things to discover. And this is five times slower. It just took a split of the second for that little mantra to run away. Next time uh, we're sailing to island of Sombrero for diving and exploration of the island. If you like and would like to watch, give us a thumb up and subscribe. Share it with your friend if you can. We're working hard to improve uh, our work. Thank you for watching. See you next time.